what are azimuth altitude and bearing now whenever you want to identify and locate and find out the position of an object in the sky what do you do you need all of these you need azimuth you need altitude bearing so azimuth and elevation these are measures what are, what what they are used for to identify specify and locate uniquely the direction of any object in the sky so it, it is locating also and direction also so azimuth tells you what direction to face which is you are facing in any direction which direction to face so you have to move and elevation tells you how high up in the sky you have to look both are measured in degrees azimuth is the angular distance of an object from the true north measured along the horizon horizon what is horizon horizon is what you see where the uh, you know sky and land they meet this is where you are meet looking at so if you if you just go 360 degree and see the circle surrounding you which is the combination of where the land and sky meet so i am calling it as horizon it is a circular shape you can call it or or a circular plane and you are at the center and that is the horizon this is defined as a huge imaginary circle centered on the observer equidistant from the zenith which is the highest point and the nadir which is the lowest point right above you is uh, zenith right below you is nadir so now let me tell you you want to identify or you want to find the direction of the sky so you are standing here let me assume that this is north this is south and this one is east and this is this one is west what do you do first you have to on the on the horizon plane first you have to move means if you are standing here you have to move certain degree your body to actually see this this star or any object so that angle on this plane on this plane circular plane that is called how much you have moved in the circular plane to face that object is the azimuth angle now let me assume that the the star is here so you have to move all around like this but you have to move from north only you cannot go other way okay so this this is how you get you are facing now that object or the star or any uh, which you want to face so from true north azimuth is always taken from the true north so the first star is at 30 degree that is the azimuth and second star the azimuth is 210 degree just assume we have a 30 degree here in ws so in true north you are moving or facing and this is the horizontal angle you have have moved that is on the horizontal horizon plane horizon horizon plane you can call now you want to look up for that you need altitude and elevation so azimuth or let me come to uh, elevation just now but let me tell you about azimuth azimuth varies from 0 degree to 360 degree 0 90 180 1, 1 and 270 and 360 degree so azimuth varies from 0 degree to 360 degree and it starts always with north true north that is 0 degree so as seen from the observer the compass bearings are measured clockwise always clockwise not the other way around in degrees from north north So azimuth angles can therefore range from zero degree north, then east we can call it as ninety degree, coming to south one eighty, west two seventy, again going back to zero degree or three sixty degree north again. Now you have done that, you have faced. Now you have to look up. First you have to look up, then only you can see the the um, the star or object. So that angle, that is the angular distance from the hor, that is the boundary of the horizon. to that object this angular distance is called the altitude or elevation this is the theta there are two thetas as if it is also an, an angle that is to you change your face and then you look up that is elevation so altitude is the distance an object appears above the horizon horizon is what where you see the sky and the land meeting So the angle is measured up from the closest point on the horizon. So let us see. This is the closest point. 
Okay, this is the closest point, and then you go up. So this angle is measured up from the closest point on the horizon, that is the circular boundary I'm talking about, and then you look up. So altitude is the angular distance of an object above the local horizon. We call also call it as elevation or altitude. Right? So there are two angles in order to actually see some certain thing. Azimuth move to that direction, look up, that is the altitude. Is it clear? Now, coming to the third part. These are two angles which we talked about. Now coming to uh, the bearing. Let me tell you this altitude only varies from 0 to 90 degree. Because you start looking from the horizon and you just go up till you see the sky. That is only 90 degree. And you see from the horizontal plane and then you look down to the nadir. That is only 90 degree. It can only go up to 90 degree. Now bearing is an angle less than 90 degree within a quadrant defined by the cardinal direction. Now let me tell you, this is one object and this is another object. This object is you actually. So the first object is you. So the azimuth uh, also goes from 0 to 30 degree, measured clockwise from north. So now you are standing here. This is your cardinal direction that is north and south. Okay. Now just, you know, make the x, y direction x. Uh, and now just combine this or you join these two points. So you will go from north, which is the closest. You will go from north. This angle is bearing. This is bearing. For example, 30 degree. For example, this is 45 degree or 60 degree. This is bearing. But the only thing difference between this is azimuth and other things are that you have to, you can only go up to 0 to 90 degree. So you have to write 30 degree northeast. And E has to be written. It goes from 0 to 90 degree. You can say it is a part of azimuth. This is a part of azimuth, one fourth of the azimuth. You can say. Now, let me say that this point is here. Now you start south. That is the cardinal direction. So since it is 45 degree, you will say it's 45 degree southwest. Southwest. That is very important in bearing. 